Aloha Mai Kako, a Como Mai to Curtain Call from a Distance, a program of reviews, previews, interviews, and features of and or with the great art and artists on Maui and beyond. I'm Paul James Brown, and I'm coming to you from my home office, where I have been conscientiously practicing self-isolation. The pandemic persists, so live art on Maui is severely limited. At this time, we are spending an inordinate amount of time in front of our screens for work, for education, to pass the time, and for entertainment. This week, I want to recommend a couple of films that are award contenders. One has been around for a while. That's the Tom Hanks Western News of the World. The other, you won't be able to see until March 12th. It's called The Father and stars Sir Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Colman. News of the World features Mr. Hanks as Captain Jefferson Kyle Kidd, who was a Confederate infantryman. It is 1870, post-Civil War Texas, and Captain Kidd reads the news. Remember, most of America was illiterate, mass public schooling was only 20 years old, and Texas didn't start until 1854. So he gathers people together like a theater and reads the news to them from reasonably current newspapers. He's kind of like a traveling salesman going from town to town. One day he comes upon an overturned wagon and finds a lynched black man. Among the items in the wagon is a beautiful young girl, the remarkable Helena Zengel, who Captain Kidd captures after a brief pursuit. She is attired in indigenous American child's fringe dress. Do you understand English? Do we, I call but uh... Friend. He discovers through papers in the wagon from the Bureau of Indian Affairs she is an orphan. Her family was killed by the Kiowas, and she was kidnapped as an infant and raised by them. Her Kiowan family has been killed, and now she was being returned to her only living relatives, an aunt and uncle in Castroville, Texas. After an encounter with Union soldiers, Captain Kidd determines to bring her to the military garrison, where the Bureau of Indian Affairs can dispatch someone to transport her to her family. However, that plan is thwarted when he is told the Bureau of Indian Affairs representative is gone for three months, and he decides to leave her with a friend who lives in that town while he goes off to read the news in other towns. They are more than willing to oblige, but she is more than they can handle. Finally, Captain Kidd decides he will bring her himself the 600 miles to Castroville. I mean, it's Tom Hanks. He has an ungenerous or ungiving bone in his body. And thus begins the journey to return this young girl to her family, where they encounter everything from kidnappers. How much you offer? This child is not for sale. They don't want our money. They want you. To natural disasters. To right-wing extremists. Roads closed. Is that the law? It is now everything in between. She's one of us now! And I'm taking her home! It is an epic journey where everything that could go wrong does, and a few things go very right. Tom Hanks is Tom Hanks. He's grizzled, wise, introspective, kind, considerate, determined, loving, and caring. His Captain Kidd is a tough veteran who is up to the task of protecting, defending, and delivering this child to her relatives. He has some lovely tender moments with his co-star. The growth and development of their relationship is a delight to witness. Helena Zengel is Kikeda, her Kiowan name, and Johanna Leonberger. She was 11 years old when this was filmed in the fall of 2019. That same year, she won Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role at the German Film Awards, Best Creative Performance at the Emden International Film Festival, and won Best Actor Awards at Palm Springs International Film Festival and the Santiago International Film Festival. For this performance, she has been nominated for a Golden Globe and SAG After Award, both in the Supporting Actor category. I fully expect an Oscar nomination as well. However, I do not see how they can put her in the supporting role category. She so steals this film from Mr. Hanks. I'm surprised she didn't get arrested for grand larceny. First off, she is so camera friendly. I expect a nuptial announcement between she and the camera in the near future. Even when her face is dirty, if she's on camera, that is where your eye will go. With her platinum hair and sparkling blue eyes, my heart goes out to Mr. Hanks or anyone else who has to share the screen with her. 
they may as well stand next to the camera and say their lines or maybe even phone them in. We could care less. All eyes are on the magnetic Ms. Zengel. Her most loquacious scene is with Elizabeth Marvel as Mrs. Gannett, a restaurateur and innkeeper who happens to speak fluent Kiowan. Apart from that, she has no real lines. But as they say, talk is cheap and she is like the Scrooge of dialogue. I remember an acting coach telling me, you're an actor, not a talker. And she needs no words. Her contribution to this film is greater than Mr. Hanks and she deserves to be nominated in the leading female category. Director and co-writer Paul Greengloss, along with Luke Davies, has taken the Paulette Giles novel and put together a film that is a thriller, a western, and a family-friendly work of cinema art that is among the best films of the year. One of the stars of the film is the vast New Mexico landscape where this was shot. It is a beautiful piece of cinema making by director of photography Darius Wolski. Sir Anthony Hopkins has said his role as Anthony in The Father is the best work he has ever done. This from an actor who has been nominated for an Oscar five times and won once. And I predict he will win again. This film is the most confounding I have seen since Blow Up in 1966, about the time Sir Anthony started his career. I say that because like Blow Up, you have no idea what is and is not real until the end. And even then, you will find yourself doing this, okay, but we were in this place and they said it was this. Not leaving my flat. I am not leaving my flat. This really is my flat. Isn't it? And then we were in the same place and they said it was that. And wait a minute, that doesn't look like his daughter. And it's me. Ah, there she is. Your father seemed a bit confused. Something wrong? Where's Anne? Sorry? Anne, where is he? I'm here. And that certainly isn't his son-in-law. Everything all right? Who are you? Actually, it's me, Paul. Who? I live here. What is this nonsense? And did they just do this scene? It's that kind of stream of consciousness that will run through your head as you watch this film. It is based on the hit 2012 French play La Paire by first-time director Florian Zeller, who wanted Anthony Hopkins so bad for this film, he held up production while Hopkins wrapped another project, and he changed the name of the father from Andre to Anthony. He has said, if he hadn't been able to get Anthony Hopkins, he would not have shot the film in English, and he would have done it in French. I will not ruin the film by telling you more than it is about an aging father and his daughter Anne, played by the equally wonderful Olivia Colman. Also in the cast are Mark Gaddis as the man, Olivia Williams, to Olivia's, as the woman, Imogen Poots as Laura, a caregiver for Anthony, Rufus Sewell as Paul, Anne's husband, and Aisha Darker as Dr. Sarai. The film is being released next week in New York and Los Angeles, and you can see it if you are a SAG-AFTRA member, and if not, you'll have to wait until March 12th. The English won't get to see it until June due to the COVID restrictions. In a year with a passel of great films, this is my favorite so far. See how you feel. It is as gripping as any thriller, as empathetic as the most profound drama, as cathartic as Lear, and as smart as Pi or Primer. Don't miss these. Well, that's Curtain Call from a Distance for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Paul James Brown. Ahoy ho! Thank you.